Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and friends in last video I have shared with you the demo demo about how to use TensorFlow Lite for configuring the home automation okay means uh, with the help of TensorFlow Lite we can detect the object okay and then uh, TensorFlow Lite uh, sends the message with the help of UMQTT server okay it sends the message on our ESP8266 where we have the MicroPython configure and then the with the help of MicroPython we can we can basically configure onboard LED or uh, of course we can configure the relay okay which we use for the home automation okay so this is we can say a part one for our tensor light object detection home automation project this is the part one where we are going to install the micro python on our esp8266 in second part we are going to configure the mqtt server and the third part where we are going to configure our tensorflow light uh, which basically sends uh, when the object detected it send a message uh, on our ESP8266 uh, to to basically make the LED on okay so this is the part one where we are going to install a micro python on our ESP8266 so right now we have here a uh, two model okay uh, CS340 and CP2102 okay so this one is a uh, ch340 okay as you can see here uh, this is the esp8266 and this is the chip ch340 and this one is a uh, esp8266 come with this is the chip as you can see uh, cp2102 the shape as you can see the chip shape is in the rectangle and this is the uh, ch340 okay ch340 so I'm going to show you how you can install the MicroPython also with the help of MicroPython how you can connect the ESP8266 with your router means how you can configure the Wi-Fi connection okay. So first we are going to connect uh, CP2102 ESP8266 then we are going to connect uh, CS340 okay. So now we are going to move on our Windows machine screen okay. So friends we are now on our windows 10 machine suppose if you have windows 11 same steps for the windows 11 okay so first thing first first we need to download the tony python id for the windows okay so tony.org this is what their website click on here tony.org okay then we need to click on on the windows and as you can see it's now downloading Tony setup.exe file as you can see here. Then this is was our setup window as we always do normal setup simply we need to click on next, I accept, click on next, 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 then create desktop icon, then click on next, install. Now as you can see it's installing the Tony Python ID. So friends as you can see we have successfully downloaded Tony setup.exe file. Okay, simply we need to click on here. And it will show where basically the setup.exe file save. So it's saved inside my downloads and freedom tech folder. As you can see, this is what the Tony setup.exe file. Okay. Simply right click, click on open. Then you can see this kind of window select setup install mode. We need to select install for all users. So simply select it, install for all users, select it. So friends, as you can see, we have successfully installed the Tony Python ID. Simply we need to click on finish. If I minimize all these things. And as you can see, we have here our Tony Python ID. Simply we need to click on here. And as you can see, we have now our Tony Python ID. By default, it is uh, set for Python 3.7.9. Okay. So now, what we want to do? We want to first install CP210 drivers and CS340 uh, driver for our Node MCU ESP8266. Okay. For that, we need to simply clone or we need to simply download the MicroPython repository. Okay. I will mention the link. You need to simply click on the link and open the link inside the browser then you need to go here code click on download zip and now it's downloading the zip file file name is micropython hyphen main dot zip as you can see
So friends, we have completed the downloading microPython hyphen main dot zip file. Now simply we need to click here, and as you can see, we have our zip file. Simply we are going to extract here. So right click, click on extract all. Just click on extract, and as you can see, we have now microPython hyphen main folder. Okay. Let me just close the new window, and here it is. As you can see, inside my downloads freedom tech folder. we have our micropython main folder which we just extract so click on here again same folder and inside that we have cp210 drivers and as you can see driver for cs340 okay and this is what the python file for connecting the esp8266 with your router okay so first thing first first simply we are going to extract the cp210 driver then we are going to extract the cs340 driver okay so simply cp210 right click extract all extract that's it now as you can see we are now inside the cp210 windows driver serial folder okay here we need to extract or we need to not extract basically we need to install the driver so right now i am on windows 10 64 bit machine if you are suppose uh, with a uh, 32 bit machine you need to simply install the driver for 32 bit right now i am on windows 10 64 simply select here right click click on open and then as you can see this is what our installation window simply click on next i accept click on next finish that's it we have successfully installed cp210 driver okay now same thing for the cs340 driver cs340 right click then click on extract all click on extract and that's it now we have also the driver folder as you can see driver folder just click on it so friends as you can see we have here a setup.exe file for installing cs340 driver but we are not going to install right now cs340 driver because first we are going to configure the cp210 esp8266 okay so simply i am going to close all these things now what we want to do we want to go again inside the downloads folder where i have uh micropython hyphen main folder okay and inside that again micropython main folder and inside that as you can see we have a text file so simply right click click on open and this is the text file and inside that we have the link this link is basically for downloading the firmware the micropython firmware so simply just uh, copy it okay minimize all these things and we need to simply paste here and just hit enter okay and then as you can see it will open the micropython esp8266 firmware website simply scroll down and version 1.18.2022-01-17 this is what the latest firmware for micropython so simply we need to click on here dot bin files so simply we need to click on here dot bin files just click it and it will download the firmware as you can see it's downloaded simply click on here and as you can see we have now firmware ready now what we want to do we want to simply connect our esp8266 cp210 uh, with our laptop so i am going to connect so friends i have connect uh, esp8266 with cp210 chip okay so simply i am going to minimize all these things and now what we want to do we want to simply open sony python id and this is what our editor now simply we need to go inside the run select interpreter and here as you can see as i told you because we have already installed the cp210 driver okay now we can see our esp8266 inside the sony python id so simply what we want to do we want to go here select micro micro python esp8266 then here we need to select the port as you can see silicon lab cp210 usb this is what our com3 this is what the port uh, this is what our esp8266 cp210 select it install or update firmware then here we need to simply select first the port means the device as you can see device is here then we need to click on browse and then we will see our firmware so i have saved firmware inside my freedom tech folder as you can see this is what the esp8266 selected dot bin file click on open okay now we have selected our 
from where now simply we want to go with dual io dio this is the option which we want to select it and just check mark the erase flash before installing ok and then simply we need to click on install and as you can see the firmware is now installing inside our ESP8266 CP210 ok. So friends as you can see done it means we have successfully installed our firmware inside our ESP8266 CP210 simply close then click on here also cancel because we have installed our firmware. Now what we want to do we want to go here run ok select interpreter and here which interpreter or device should Sony use for running your code select it and we need to select the micro python ESP8266 just select it click on ok and then as you can see now here let me show you here it is if you read micro python version 1.18 then module with ESP8266. Now we have here a micro python installed in our ESP8266 CP210. So we have successfully installed the firmware. Now what we want to do? We want to simply open the python file which we have inside our uh, repository. Okay. So simply go to the file, click on open. Then we need to first uh, just go with the disk computer because we save our python file inside our computer so we need to select the drive so i have saved inside the downloads freedom tech micro python main this is what our uh, clone repository again micro python main and as you can see the network this is what our python file simply click on open and as you can see we have open just a minute okay as you can see we have open the network.python file means network.py file this file is basically for connecting our exp8266 with the router ok so in this file we don't want to change anything we want to simply change here as you can see this is what the ssid means this is what the router connection name the ssid and this is what the password ok so simply you need to mention here your router ssid and your router password then your ESP8266 connect with the router your router your Wi-Fi connection ok now we have the file now we need to save this file inside our ESP8266 so simply go to the file click on save as and now we want to save inside the micro python device so select it micro python device and we are going to mention the name the same name network.py and just click on ok now we save the file inside our ESP8266 ok so simply we are going to run the code as you can see connecting to the network now it's connecting with my router ok and that's it as you can see we have successfully connect our ESP8266 with the router and the ESP8266 IP address is 192.168.0.104 so this is how friends you can connect your ESP8266 with your router. So this is for ESP8266 CP210. Now I am going to connect the CS340 chip ESP8266. Okay. So simply again we need to go here run. Simply click uh, on the disconnect. Now we, uh, we are going to just disconnect our ESP8266. Now I am going to connect the CS340 chip ESP8266. So I have connect the ESP8266. Now again I am going to go inside the Freedom Tech again Micro Python main again Micro Python main folder and here it is whatever driver CS340 folder again driver and the setup file simply right click click on open this kind of window we need to simply select the install click on here driver install success. So we have successfully installed the driver ok. So we have now uh, CS340 ESP8266 successfully connected. Now close all these things and again we need to open Tony Python IDE and we need to again flash the firmware inside our CS340 ESP8266. Okay. So simply again go to the run, select interpreter and here micro Python ESP8266 which we have already selected. Again we need to go here port and as you can see 
now it says the CS340 and COM4 because I have connect the CS340 chip ESP8266. So select it, click on install or update firmware. Same thing here, same device, browse the firmware, freedom check folder, ESP8266.bim firmware file, open, then dual IO, check mark with here erase flash before installing and simply click on install. And as you can see, it started installing the firmware inside. ESP8266 with CS340 chip. Okay, so friends, as you can see, done. It means we have successfully flashed the firmware inside our device. So close, cancel. Now what we want to do? We want to first simply just clear all these things. So simply we need to go here, run. Uh, not in run, basically we need to go here in edit and clear shell. Also the network dot file simply close it. Okay, because we are going to do all these things newly. So simply again go to the run, select interpreter and select the micropython ESP8266 and simply uh, select the CS340 which is our ESP8266 and simply click on OK. And as you can see, we have now micropython shell for our ESP8266 CS340. Same thing, again go to the file, click on open this computer and we have our uh, network file inside the uh, downloads freedom tech micropython main again micropython main and this is what our python file select it network open and as you can see this is what our python file network.py same thing valorant is just my ssid and freedom tech is the password you need to simply mention here your router ssid and your router password okay then again go to the file save as this time we are going to save inside the micropython device same name network.py click on ok now save and simply run the file connecting to the network and as you can see now we have successfully connect our CS340 ESP8266 with the router and the IP address is 192.168.0.105. So friends, this is how you can connect CP210 ESP8266, also CS340 ESP8266 with your router. You can install the firmware on both ESP8266. I have shared with you all these things. In next video, we are going to basically configure the MQTT uh, server on our ESP8266 and then the third video which is our main video we are going to uh, we are going to configure the object detection with ESP8266 home automation okay so we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye